the Jolly Postman or other people's letters. Once upon a bicycle, so they say, a Jolly Postman came one day, and far from over the hills and far away, with a letter for the three bears. Mr. and Mrs. Bear, Three Bears Cottage, The Woods. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Bear and Baby Bear, I am very sorry indeed that I came into your house. And ate baby bear's porridge. Mummy says I am a bad girl. I hardly eat any porridge when she cooks it. She says Daddy says he will mend the little chair. Love from Goldilocks. P.S. Baby bear can come to my party if he likes. There will be three kinds of jelly and a conjura. So the bears read the letter, except Baby Bear. The postman drank his tea, and what happened next we'll very soon see. Off went the postman to the loo in his uniform of postal blue, to a gingerbread cottage and a garage too, with a letter for the wicked witch. The occupier gingerbread bungalow, the woods. Open now, don't delay. This could be your lucky day. Free witch watch with every order. The undelivered return to of Goblin Supplies Warlock Mountain Debt. Hobgoblin Supplies LTD. Everything for the modern witch delivered to your door or den. Cabins carded for deadly lampshades, nice and gloomy, little boy pie mix for those unexpected visitors. When the cupboard is bare, finest natural ingredients, no preservatives. Halloween boot available in sizes four to fourteen. Fourteen. Lovely choice of five lovely colors: midnight black. Cold black, jet black, crow black, bat black. 150-year guarantee. Easy, clean, non-stick cauldron set. With free recipe for toad in the hole. Witching hour glass. The ideal gift. Big broom for the larger witch, as seen on TV. Looking for a new newt? Bonus newt, the bigger newt. Special offer, buy four, get one free. Same low price, 10% bigger. Half actual size. Little demon. The Little Demon, self spell proof tent for your holiday. And for your holiday's reading, the complete books of Fall Curses. It's spell bind, blinding the, binding the mirror mirror. Cup and saucer tea service. It washes itself. Rejuven, rejuvenating pills. Feeling good? Take Witcher the perfect pick me up. Wee! 
Sky High goggles fits all sizes. Frog powder. Just add water. Work. Money back if not completely satisfied for the wizard in your life. Matching tie and sock set. These are just a few examples from an enchanting range. For further details, ring free phone 13. Dot. No bad spells, please. So the witch read the letter with a cackle of glee while the postman read the paper but left his tea. It was green! Soon the jolly postman we hear tell stopped at a door with a giant bell. Bottle of milk and a bottle of a giant bottle of milk as well. Who is with a postcard for? Guess who? Mr. V. Dot Big Mile High House Beanstalk Gardens. Dear Giant Big, you're ha having a nice time? Me, my mom, and your hen that lays the golden eggs. It's better than travelers. Chikus. Chinkus. So blood as he was flying down, he was bigger than you. I took note of his address. Take care of yourself and your days. And you're talking hard. I'll be back for that one of these days. I shouldn't wonder. Bye for now. You're very little pal, Jack. Our curries uh, are always to our your service magic carpet tours. So the giant read the postcard with the ba with baby on his knee, and the postman wet his whistle with a thimble full of tea. Once more his bicycle, the postman rode, where a nightingale sang, and a sign that said sold. With a letter for Cinderella, there's a surprise. HRH, Cinderella, the palace, half kingdom road. Princess, we at the Peter, at the Piper Press, hope soon to uh, publish a little book for younger readers in celebration to your of your recent marriage to H O H, Prince Charming. Copy of this book is enclosed of your approval. We trust this somewhat shortened version of your Highness's most marvelous tale will not displease you. We also trust that you will be comfortable in your new home and live happily ever after. Your humble servant and loyal subject to be Peter Piper. Peter Piper, Managing Director. Peter Piper Press, Peck P Place, Pickleton.
Cinderella, the story of a fairy tale princess. There once was a young woman named Cinderella, who had a cruel stepmother, two cruel, ugly stepsisters, and a father who was not around much. One day. The postman arrived with an invitation for to the royal ball. The stepmother and the sisters got dressed in their finery and departed almost once, leaving Cinderella alone. She couldn't go to the ball. She had nothing to wear and no transport. Luckily, at that moment, Cinderella's go fairy godmother dropped in, finding Cinderella in tears. She worked her magic and sent her off to the ball in a beautiful gown and a golden coach. But be back by twelve, she said. The magic stops at midnight. Bing. So Cinderella went to the ball, and had a marvelous time. She ate lots of little sausages on sticks and danced constantly with the prince, who obviously admired her. And just when things were going well, the clock struck twelve, and Cinderella had to run for it. The prince was in constable until that is he found one of Cinderella's glass slippers, which cheered him up. The next day he went looking for a young woman whose foot would fit the slipper, meaning to marry her if she'd have him. All the women in the town. Young and old, and even ugly, the ugly sister tried on this slipper, but without success. Then finally, Cinderella tried it on, and it fitted all, of course. And that was that. A few days later, Cinderella and the prince were married. Telegrams of the congratulations arrived from every corner of the kingdom. And the newspapers were full of the event. Fairy tale princess. The headlines proclaimed witches on this occasion. It must be said was really no exaggeration at all. The end. A story of magic and romance, glass slippers, and little sausages on sticks. The best happy ever after tale of all. So Cinder read her little book. The postman drank champagne, and then waddled off on his round again and again and again. Oops. The postman, feeling hot, came upon a grandma in a shady spot. But grandma, what big teeth you've got! Besides, this is a letter for ooh, urgent, urgent. B B Wolf, Big Bad Wolf, S E S Q K O. Grandma's cottage, Horner's corner. Meeny, miny, mo and co. Dot Solakers, Elio Building, Stow Lane, Tell. Telephone, one, two, three, four, five. 
Dear Mr. Wolf, we are writing to you on behalf of our client, Miss Riding Hood. Concerning her grandma, Miss Hood tells us that you are presently occupying her grandma's cottage and wearing her grandma's clothes without this lady's permission. Please understand that if this harassment does not cease, we will call in the official woodcutter and, if necessary, all the king's horses and all the king's men. On a separate matter, we must inform you that Miss Mistrues, Three Little Pigs LTD, are now firmly reserved result for sue for damages. Your offer of shares in a tournament or apple picking business is declined. And all this huffing and puffing will get you nowhere. Yours sincerely, sincerely, Harold Meany. So Grandma read the letter and poured the tea, which the not so jolly postman drank nervously. Now the jolly postman, nearly done, so is the story, came to a house where a party had begun. Was a, on the step was a bear with a bun. Baby bear! But the letter was for Goldilocks. Two Goldilocks, 24 Blackbird Road, Bomberry Cross. Please do not bend. A cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Carry it in on a beautiful plate and light up the candles today. I am eight. The golly lux with love from Miss is Bunting and Baby. Kiss, 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 kiss. Happy birthday wishes eight today. Bank of Wonderland, I promise to pay the bearer on demand the son of one pound. One pound, little Miss Muffet. So Golly looks put the pound in the pocket of her frock. And the postman joined the party and they all played Postman's Knock. Once upon a bicycle, so they say, a jolly postman came one day. And from over the hills and far away. And went home in the evening 